Fetterman Nazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. I'd like to share my thoughts regarding Marvel and their genius idea to make Iron Man a black woman. First of all, Iron Man, well, is a man because Iron Man. Otherwise, it has to be Iron Woman, which isn't the same thing. But anyway, that's a bit of a distraction. In case you don't know, they've decided that the next Iron Man is going to be a black woman. What I find annoying about this situation is not only that they're changing an established canon that spans decades, it's not like they're just editing a story they came out with last year, but they're changing an established canon just to pander to the PC crowd. Not only that, but let's look at it from a different angle, something a little bit less politically charged. This is lazy as shit. This is so lazy on their part. What I'm getting from this is not, look at us, we're so inclusive and diverse, and oh yeah, look at this, we put black women in all these things that, you know, are otherwise supposed to be other things, and that makes us inclusive. No, what I'm getting from this is that Marvel, the people behind Iron Man, have decided that they want to be inclusive and diverse to pander to people, but they also have decided to do so in the laziest way possible, by shoehorning a black woman into a role that a white man traditionally plays. Their idea of being inclusive is to take something that is normally a white man's role and has been in a long series of movies that have already been released and comic books spanning God knows how long back. They're taking what is normally a white man's role, shoving a black woman into it and saying, look, we're inclusive. But what they've really done here is lazy. It's incredibly lazy. I don't know what was going through these people's heads. They're not being diverse. They're not being inclusive. They're trying to minimize the amount of effort required to make black women think that they give a shit. Are you black? Are you female? Don't you feel like if there's going to be a black female superhero story, maybe it would be nice to have somebody put out just enough effort to write a story for that character instead of taking some other character and dropping her in like it's a template? All this is telling me is that black women aren't worth writing an entire story for. They just want to stick a black female face on a superhero and call it a done day and call the diversity problem solved. They don't want to go to the effort to write an original story. Why would they? That requires actual time. That would require creativity. That would require more effort. Congratulations. We've reached a point where being diverse means being lazy. We've reached a point where all that matters is the color of your skin and what genitals you were born with. That's it. That's all I'm getting. Is this good enough for you, women, black people, black women? Is this good enough for you? Really? Is it? Don't applaud this bullshit. Don't support it. They need to make a new story. They need to stop being lazy. If they're going to pander, they can at least pander in a way that retains some semblance of artistic integrity. Do you really think they give a shit? No, they don't. You are dollars. You are currency to them. You are their bottom line. You're the one going up to the theater and throwing that cash in the bin. That's all you are to them. That's why they've done this. It was the cheapest way to get more black people and more females into the theaters and to look like they're doing something for social justice and political correctness. But really all they've done is trick you idiots into going to the theater and giving them dollars. Keep on opening your purses and wallets and dumping your cash out into their back pockets. Keep supporting this. Go for it. See how well that works out. Once they figure out that all they have to do is change the color or gender of any superhero to get more people into a theater without doing any actual artistic stuff without putting out any actual effort to make a decent story, that's the end of it. There's no going back. If you want to know why films get worse every single year, it's because of this. They do what makes them money, and you idiots will go and pay for it all year long. Female Thor, Black Woman Iron Man, it doesn't matter what they do. All they have to do is slap a new gender or a new skin color on it, and suddenly it's a whole new product that you'll gladly go and see like a bunch of blind sheep. When you get out of the theater, do me a favor. Tell me how it feels to have a pandering crowbar shoved between your ass and your money, because I sure won't find out for myself. You need to tell these people that you're worth a little bit more. I mean, it's almost the equivalent of theater blackface. Come on. But hey, you know what? Fund what you want. Support what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to remind you that when you give these people money for doing this lazy bullshit, you're telling them you want more. You are the reason that movies suck ass. Don't be the reason. Don't give them money. Stay home. Do anything but see this nonsense. Have a beer. Masturbate. I don't care what you do. But if you want to start seeing good movies again, stop giving them money for making ones that suck. This is Feminazi bailing the fuck out.